This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. If you're not familiar with them, they make really useful gear that you'll want to carry and use every day. They have things like the bit bar, which is a pocket screwdriver with a bit selection hidden in the handle, or the TPT and TPT slide, which are utility knives that also have tools built in. And they also have pins like the TI Arto EDC, which works with over 750 inserts. And my favorite, the TI Pocket Pro. They are all made out of titanium and built really, really well. To learn more about Big Idea Design, use the links in the description down below, and you can also use coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50, and if you do so, you'll help support the show. Welcome back, everybody, and uh, this is the second week in a row that I have to shoot this video multiple times. One day I'll get it right. Anyway, I am super, super pumped. Thank you guys. That's all I can say, really. We hit 7,000 Instagram followers yesterday, 35,000 subscribers just a couple days ago. We're about to hit 36,000 subscribers, 1.5 million views, all in under five months. Because today, the time of this recording, the 14th, this channel is just five months old, and that's all organic. That is insane. Thank you guys so, so much. And thank you for being so active with the submissions. I did get a bunch of people reaching out to me saying that their submissions weren't going through or they couldn't access the submission page. That was a bug. I couldn't replicate it myself, but it is fixed now. So if you had trouble submitting your EDC, just go back to edcw.co, try again, and it should work this time. But the other reason I'm excited, ooh, ooh, I am, mm, I'm pumped. It's what's inside this that has me so pumped. This is the pocket armor from Popov Leather, but what's inside it is spicy. It is so, so nice. And I've been waiting on this thing to get here for a long time. I've been eyeing these for years and it's finally here. The next video on this channel is gonna be about what's inside this pocket armor and some other gear that was sent to me. And I am so pumped for you guys to see it. And after that, there's another video that's gonna be just as spicy. I am, I am so excited for you guys to see these things. Also last week, I said I was giving away a big idea design TPT to a random commenter. I read through all the comments, I picked my favorite, and Mateus Mota is the winner of the TPT with this comment right here. Thank you, Mateus. Well, with that giveaway out of the way, I'm gonna do it again this week. I'm giving away an Olight S2R2 baton from Olight. It's a brand new flashlight that launched just last week. And uh, I'm gonna give this away to one random commenter, but to learn what you've gotta do to win this flashlight, or not this one, but another flashlight just like this one, you just gotta watch the video because I'm gonna drop how to enter this giveaway at some random point in the video. Yeah, I'm that guy. I'm gonna be mean about this. If you want to win this, you gotta watch, you gotta figure out where it is in the video and uh, game on. <laughs> this week, this show is about budget EDCs. It's about the bang for your buck gear, stuff that won't break the bank, and stuff that you can easily replace if you break or lose it, which, which I've been doing a lot lately. Anyway, let's do the thing. All right, first up this week, we have a submission from James Lee. And this submission jumped out at me the other day, mainly because of the wood handle. You guys have me down to a science now. You know exactly what I like. And you guys are cheating the system, aren't you? You're doing it. You're cheating the system because I'm, I'm a sucker. Anyway, this one has kind of that black and brown theme, which I tend to do myself quite often. Uh, not always, but pretty often I stick to a brown and black theme. This one has that. First up here is the Apple iPhone 7 Plus, which he carries in an OtterBox commuter case. And attached to that commuter case is the love handle grip. The bottom of the photo is the Streamlight MicroStream, which is his flashlight of choice. And he also carries a black bandana. And on top of that is a Husky folding utility knife, which has a nice wooden handle. And it looks like it's a lockback as well. His pen of choice is the Zebra F-301 pen. And he also carries a blacked out Leatherman Wave. And then finally, in the bottom of the photo is the original Ping One wallet in leather. And of course, this is a budget EDC, and no, the Leatherman Wave is not necessarily a budget item. There are cheaper multi-tools, there are cheaper Leathermans even. Not everything in this whole show is going to be budget. There are watches that are definitely not budget watches, but for the most part, these are very budget-friendly EDCs. James says, hey man, how's it going? My name is James Lee, pronounced like Lee. And if you want me to not slaughter your name, you should do that. Tell me how to pronounce it in your description. Otherwise, it's open season for names getting completely butchered by me. 
Even if you tell me how to pronounce it, I'll probably mispronounce it. I discovered your show this year just before you started the Best Day EDC, and I was definitely happy to hear you're starting it back up. I look forward to it every week. My EDC is constantly evolving to best fit my needs. I used to carry a lot more and decided to leave things that I don't use as often in my EDC bag. I also tend to keep my things budget friendly because I'm hard on things and would like to be able to replace things if need be. This is my current EDC. I carry the Autobox commuter case because it's durable yet slim. I don't need any more things bulking up my pockets. I enjoy reading ebooks on my iPhone and the love handle strap keeps me from dropping my phone on my face when I'm reading in bed. The flashlight I use daily to look for things in the dark. I use the bandana for wiping sweat off my face more than anything. I live in Texas and I sweat a lot. I work in a warehouse at a local college so the utility knife is great on campus because it's not only non-threatening but the ability to change the blade for a new sharp edge to cut boxes with it is gold. The zebra pin is my current EDC pin until I get a fine point refill for my Fisher Space Pin Bullet. I recently started EDCing my Wave on my person and I've had to use it every day since both at work and at home. My wallet is just a cheap wallet I got on sale. I plan on getting something that'll carry a small notebook soon, but for now it'll do. Thanks for all that you do. Glad you're full time now. I look forward to watching this channel grow. Take care. Thank you, man. And thank you for submitting this great EDC. There were a lot of people over on Instagram who said that this thing was killer just for being so nice, but also so affordable. So thank you, James. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The second submission this week comes from Matt V. And this one's not only budget friendly, but very, very minimal. First up here, we have the Infinity Wallet, which is very similar to all the other elastic wallets out there, like the Thread Wallets or the Tight Wallets. He has a Gerber EAB for his knife or utility knife of choice. His pin that he uses is just a plain Papermate pin with blue ink. And he has a Timex Expedition metal field watch with a Barton 18 millimeter army green canvas band. And finally, the phone of choice, which is used to take the picture is the iPhone 8. Matt says, my favorite piece of my EDC is my watch, how it looks, the style of it, and it's great. It tells times if my hands are full at watch and also has the date function. That's about all he has to say about his EDC. And um, thank you, man. This is a very, very minimal, very budget-friendly EDC. I think total, everything you see here other than the, the keys is probably like, I guess about 30, 40 bucks for everything. And yeah, you could go cheaper than that, but this is bang for your buck stuff. So sometimes you don't want to go too cheap because then you get really cheap quality. And this stuff is not that. This stuff is reputable stuff for fair price. Anyway, thank you, Matt, for sharing. You don't have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Moving right along, the third submission this week comes from Easton Polisano. And this one is a little different from what we typically see on the show. We also don't see very many fixed blades. There are some, but there aren't very many. I've never seen this as a fixed blade though. First up is the Condor Pocket Pouch EDC Organizer. And below that is the fixed blade I was talking about, the Mora Knife Companion Heavy Duty. I've never seen somebody EDC a Mora Knife, which is pretty badass, not gonna lie. Next to that is the September Leather Field Journal and also a Streamlight Stylus Pro pin light. Next to that is the Gerber Pocket Square and then the Valtev Pocket Tool. His pin of choice is the Edgeworks Multifunction Pin and below that is a Pathfinder Butane Torch. On his keys, you'll find an emergency whistle as well as a custom dog tag and to the far right is hand sanitizer. The one thing I will say about this EDC and any other EDCs that have an EDC organizer in them, one thing I do want to see is kind of how the stuff is organized in the organizer, how it's placed. Do you put all this stuff in there and carry it in one place? Because when I do that with something like a Yellow Birch Outfitters pocket organizer, all the weight of your entire EDC goes to one pocket. It's nice having all the others free and not anything in them, but all that weight goes to one spot in your pocket and uh, or in your pockets, one pocket. And that's, it's something I'm not used to yet. I'm not sure I ever will be. Anyway, Easton says, the Condor pocket pouch helps me organize all of my gear. The more knife companion is used mainly for heavy duty cutting tasks. The leather journal helps me jot down quick notes or draw on the go. I use the Streamline almost every day to light up dark places. The Gerber pocket square is a very nice looking knife that I use for lighter cutting tasks. The Valtev pocket tool helps me for smaller everyday tasks. The Edgeworks multifunction pin is used mainly for the pin and ruler, but also sometimes I use the screwdriver bits and level. The function of the Pathfinder butane torch is pretty obvious. And of course I have my keychain. The hand sanitizer also has a pretty obvious use. There you go, hard to argue with that. Anyway, thank you again, Easton. You have a great EDC and you also have a second entry into the November giveaway. The fourth submission this week, this guy is no stranger to the EDC Weekly or being featured here on the website or Instagram. It's Dan D'Onofrio. I feel like I've said that name pretty recently on a video, but I can't remember. It's Everything's a blur these days. But this is a budget EDC. It looks great, and it's included in this week's video. First up is a rather unique knife. 
something that we've never seen on the show before, and something that if you haven't checked out on your own before, you definitely should. It is the CRKT Swindle, and as the name suggests, it doesn't open how you think it would open. Next up is the Armatron Dress Watch, and next to that is the Olay i3T EOS in copper, and a polished titanium tie bar. And finally, to the far left of the photo is the Distill Union Wally Micro Leather wallet. Dan says, this is my EDC setup for when I need to wear formal attire, my classy carry, if you will. The knife in the picture is the CRKT Swindle, a very unique gentleman's knife designed for lighter cutting tasks, with this classy, sleek look with a pocket clip specifically designed for a suit. The Armatron dress watch is just an inexpensive quartz watch with a croc style leather strap. It looks great when paired with a suit. The flashlight is the i3T EOS in copper that I recently got per your recommendation, and I love it. It's a beautiful little flashlight that's already starting to patina, and that happens almost instantly. It comes in a vacuum sealed package, you cut that open, and within about a day, it starts showing patina, maybe even less. It's, it's insane how fast it patinas, and it looks fantastic. Within like a week, it looks like 50 years old. It's great. This flashlight is used almost daily due to its compact size and strong output. Last but not least is the Distill Union Wally Micro. You can't get much more compact than this when it comes to wallets. The leather is great quality and is aging beautifully. It carries everything I need and nothing that I don't. Again, thanks for all you do, Taylor. You, sir, are a gem to the EDC community. It's such a small community, we need a platform to bring all of us together. And through your YouTube channel and more recently your website, you have done just that. Well, thank you, man. And that's, that's the whole point. I want to bring this community together, but also kind of bring people that don't know this community exists into the fold and bring this to the mainstream. I wanna take it out to people who don't know this stuff exists because who, who knows about these wallets and these flashlights and these knives that are outside the EDC community? I would guess very few people, and I would stretch to say I think far more people would really find this stuff very interesting if they knew it existed, just saying. Anyway, thank you for submitting again, Dan. You don't have a second entry into this month's giveaway, but you already had one because you were already featured over on Instagram. So thanks again. At the beginning of the video, I said I was gonna give away one of these flashlights, an Olay S2R2 baton. So to enter to win this flashlight, I'm picking a random number between zero and 1,000. The first person to guess that number or get the closest is the winner of the flashlight. So there you go. Good luck. Last but not least this week comes from a guy named Garrett. That's about all the information I have, Garrett or GTJ. First up here, we have a Casio G-Shock GD-120M. Above that is the hand-me-down leather wallet he says he got from his dad. And over on his keychain, you'll find a Warhead peanut lighter as well as a Kershaw cinder knife. His phone of choice is the Apple iPhone 8 Plus, which he carries in a life-proof case. He also has a Zippo for his second lighter, technically. And he has a Schrade SC Pin BK tactical pin. His flashlight of choice is the Olight i3T EOS in black and he also carries a Gerber suspension in XT for his multi-tool. Finally, in the bottom right of the photo, a first for this channel is the Rake P-671CB front flipper. So not only do we not see very many front flippers, we also don't see any Rake knives. They're very, very new. They actually, I think, I don't know how long the company has been around, but I think they launched their first knives just last year, or very, very recently at least. So Rake is a very new company, and yes, R-U-I-K-E is pronounced Rake. But they are technically a budget brand for knives and uh, they make pretty quality stuff for the price. So it's uh, very fitting that the first Rake knife appears on a budget-friendly EDC episode. Garrett says, this is all the gear I carry on a daily basis when I'm not in class. I use most of it at least once a day, except for the Gerber, which I only keep around in case I need a tool I do not have on hand. It has a good selection of tools and was affordable, which as a college student is a good thing. The pin is sturdy and I like the extra features it offers like a glass breaker and an emergency whistle. The Olight is a great flashlight and I've carried and used it almost every day since I got it. The G-Shock as well as the wallet were both gifts from family. The watch is super useful and very reliable. The wallet is pretty plain, but adds a nice touch of leather to my EDC. My phone is just an iPhone 8 Plus, along with a protective case, which I used to take the picture. On the keys are the Kershaw Cinder, a great backup for my regular knife, and a peanut lighter I got from Blade HQ in case my Zippo runs out of fuel. I got my Zippo many years ago so I could learn a few tricks with it, but I never got the hang of it. I still use the lighter sometimes, even though I don't smoke. Finally is the knife. It's a rake, a great budget brand that makes really high quality stuff for a pretty low price. I got it because I wanted to try out a front flipper and I don't have the extra money to spend on a Kaiser Feist. The knife is great and the Sandvik blade still holds an edge better than the 8 CR13 MOV on most budget 
knives and true that sandvik steel that's something you see on the more knife which is one of the reasons people love it so much that's why these rake knives are kind of creating this buzz for budget blades with sandvik steel and eight cr13 mov is a very soft steel it's notoriously just a budget steel that is on very very cheap knives it's actually i think also the steel that's on the spider coat tenacious which is again one of the best bang for your buck knives but doesn't have that great of edge retention anyway Thank you again, Garrett, for sharing. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. And if you want to be featured in a future video, just go to edcw.co and submit your EDC there. You now have to register to my website, but you just, once you've registered, just log in, submit your EDC, follow the steps, and you might be featured on the website, on Instagram, or here on the channel. Once you submit your EDC, you're entered into a monthly giveaway that I do, but if you're featured in any of those places, you also get a second entry. But with all that said, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this in the future. I upload this video, the EDC Weekly, every single Thursday. And other days, I upload different videos like unboxings and roundups and all sorts of other EDC-related videos. And I also do live streams. So if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, when I go live on a live stream, just hit that notification bell beside the subscribe button so you get that notification. If you want to support what I do here, if there was anything in this video that you saw that you liked and want to check out or maybe purchase, there are links for every product listed in this video down below. And if you click through one of those links and purchase anything, that helps keep the lights on here. It gives us a little bit of a kickback, doesn't charge you anything extra, and it's just a good way for you to say thank you and help support what we're doing here. If you want to go one step extra, just go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc and consider pledging with cold hard cash there. That is another great way to support what I'm doing. But of course, you're not obligated to do anything. Finally, be sure to check out our sponsor this week. It is Big Idea Design. They make really, really cool titanium gear. I love it. I carry stuff from them every single day. Click those links down below. That also helps us out, but just check them out. Give them a follow on Instagram. Tell them I sent you. With that said, of course, you can find us around the web on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.